All right, all right, all right. Welcome into Groomer's Take. Columbus Blue Jackets and Tampa Bay Lightning going five overtimes last night. Seth Jones, over an hour of ice time, 65 minutes. Jonas Corposalo carrying it over from the Leafs series. 83 saves, I think it was. Unbelievable. If that's just a taste from game one of what we're going to get, strap in because that's going to be a very exciting series to watch. As you may have heard, I'm taking Tampa in six. I'm still sticking to it after what we just watched. I wasn't able to watch any of the Calgary game against Dallas, but that series kicked off. Calgary inched it 3-2. Dallas scored two goals in nine seconds. I think that most of this is going to be on Cam Talbot. Will he be able to stand on his head? Or not even stand on his head, just play well. If he does that, I think Calgary's going to move forward. I'm taking Calgary in six games, four games to two. Other action last... Oh, and by the way, the Corey Perry-Matthew Kachuk fight, I thought that was great to watch. Two Canadian guys. Both kind of have the same, you know, attitude from when Corey Perry was younger. He could, he could make a lot of guys mad, too. I liked watching that tilt. Vegas was rolling last night against Chicago. They looked very, very good. An interesting point is that Leonard was a net instead of Flurry. Um, I heard that you know Leonard plays very well against his old team. Uh, I think the record was 12-1 and 0 or something like that. But either way, Leonard looked very good last night. You have to wonder where that leaves Flurry in the long run. But Leonard's a free agent after this year, so we'll see there. I think Chicago's in trouble with this Vegas team. I'm going to take Vegas four games to one. They looked very lethal last night. This afternoon, we had even more overtime fun. Very early in the second overtime, though, Patrice Bergeron ended game one against the Carolina Hurricanes. This series could be very lethal. I've gone over the Carolina Hurricanes' depth and roster, but I wanted to look into the Boston Bruins a little bit here. Marshan, Bergeron, Pasternak on your top line. Us Lee fans, we know it. That is very lethal. Look for them to carry them through the series. Second line, DeBrus Krejci and acquired Andre Kasha at the deadline. Kasha is a guy who can get it done for them. Look for him with the help of Krejci and DeBrusque to get it done. The third line... Another two adds in Richie and Coyle. I really like this third line, along with Bjork in the fourth line, Nordstrom, Corrali. Corrali's one of my favorite fourth line players in the league. And Chris Wagner, another guy who can bang you up. On the defense, they have Char Chara, McAvoy, Krug, and Carlo, and Grzelnik, and Lazon. Boston's still lethal. They have Rask, and Halak, and Net. It's going to be a very tough series. I think that the matchups are from line to line. Carolina can hang with Boston for sure. In the end, I'm taking Boston because of Tuka Rask and Net over Mrazic. Boston in six, maybe even five. Boston Bruins. Don't want to say it, but that's what's going to happen. The Islanders in Washington. I want to get a bit more into them tomorrow, but I think Washington could be in a bit of trouble here. Ultimately, I think it's going to come down to Braden Holtby. I think Washington's defense will be able to hang around with the defensive-minded New York Islanders. Last time I checked, I think the Caps were up 1-0. I think Braden Holpe can get this done. He still has enough left in the tank. We know that Ilya Samsonov will be the goaltender of the future, but he's on the IR right now. Braden Holpe, can you step in and get it done? Yes, you can. Washington in seven. Let's go, Washington. But let's look into their depth chart a little bit. you got Ovi, Backstrom, and Oshie as your top line, of course. Uh, Ovi's been doing it forever. Backstrom's been doing it forever. Oshie's been doing it forever, all with great playoff experience. They're going to be a handful. I really like this second line with Kuznetsov and Tom Wilson and then Jacob Verana on the left side. He has taken that step this year. I think he can be a 25-25 guy in the league for years to come. Really like that second line. And then you have your bottom six with Haglin, Boyd, and Kovalchuk. Yeah, that's right. Ilya Kovalchuk. I totally forgot that this guy was acquired by the Capitals. Let's see if he has any magic left. I mean, on the third line, he's going to be a guy looking to score because he doesn't really focus on the defensive side. And then you have Richard Panic. I think it's Nick Dowd and Hathaway on the fourth line. Very good deep core for the Washington Capitals. Huge news for them, Jordan Carlson did play today and hopefully he keeps playing going forward for them because he's one of the best defensemen in the league. He's got Brendan Dillon on his top line, then you have Kempney, Orlov, and then two guys I never heard of, I'm assuming they're young guys, taking that step up in Siglin Haller. 
and Fairberry. Sorry about those names, but that's the best I can do. And then, like I said, you have Holpe in the net. Washington, let's go. Washington in seven. Arizona and Colorado also start tonight. Montreal and Philly. Wow, that's going to be a series. That starts tonight. Vancouver and St. Louis. I want to break all those matchups down singly. I'm not going to get into them today, but look for that in the next couple of days. They should be good. Last but not least, huge shout out to Colin Morikawa. Huge win. 23 years old in six months. He wins the 2020 PGA Championship. The only other 23-year-olds to win a major are Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. I believe there aren't any more. This guy's going to be a stud. He hits the ball very well. The shot on 16 on the short par 4. Sealed it. Put it to whatever it was. 10 feet. Drains the eagle putt. That's the kind of hole. That's the kind of shot you need in a major. Every other golfer was attempting it all day. Couldn't pull it off. He pulls it off. He takes the first major of the season by two shots. Shout out to Colin Morikawa. I'm going to go watch hockey. Thanks for tuning in. Groomers take. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.